coming almost to the end of the church of 12 members and we will be looking at the last person in that church judas iscariot not because we chose to do him last but when you look at the way it's written in the scriptures his name came last so we've been following that so this morning we are going to do the introduction if we don't finish please join us this evening um i know when we talk about judas everybody goes every mind goes to oh traitor everybody knows about judas but let's see some silent key things that we've not often mentioned about him or around him that the lord will call our attention to during these teachings father we thank you we bless you and we ask that you open our eyes you speak to us again afresh and remind us heavenly father the things that we have to be mindful of because all these things are written for us as an examples speak to us this morning in yeshua jesus name we pray amen and amen hallelujah so when i came to this last i said lord what am i going to say that everybody had not known <laughs> everyone had not basically known but um everyone even on the street is now in our language everything about um the man judas is carried it's not anything hidden not at all so children talk about it the newspaper talk about it i know some time ago as i was reading one of the popular medias down here very popular everybody picked up in the evening to read and i'm like what and they mentioned judas and i'm like mm, judas this writer what do you know about judas do you know the bible do you even have a bible in your house but it's something that is a language amen so when you talk about judas everyone on earth knows what you're talking about it connotes betrayal it connotes treachery it connotes you know um um stabbing you at the back it connotes all kind of evil things you will ever think about when you talk about um judas and all my lifetime i've not seen anybody named his child judas no <laughs> if you have just inbox me and tell me no pastor grace i know somebody who is called judas i have not not at all even the very satanic ones who say they love satan i don't none of their children's name or even their own names are satan i'm yet to see so it's very popular out there everything and in our christian world there's been books and messages preached and books written on judas so going through them is to remind us but the lord opened my eyes and that's what i was sharing with my husband i said there's something all my christian life about this man everybody talks about but there's something that is not being mentioned and not just that i saw one or two or three or four other things so when the lord revealed this to us some years ago when we started teaching this um we've decided to just settle on those areas because all all others we know it all others we do know it so by way of introduction and being the headings we're going to look at each and every one of them one the bible made it clear in the book of matthew chapter 10 luke chapter 10 mark john 6 mark 3 where all of them were mentioned there was something he says and judas iscariot who betrayed him so he was one of the disciples judas was one of those who were called 
and most times we look out for Judas on the pew and we look out for Jesus out there on the street the man out there on the street we shouldn't call him Judas at all because the life of Judas is the Adamic nature, it's still the old nature. There's not been any transformation. There's no need saying that white is white. It doesn't make any sense because white is still white. There's no need saying, oh, did you see, and you're insisting that a yellow color is yellow. What are you talking about? Everybody's eyes um, quite open to see is yellow. So there's no contention around it. So calling those who have not known Jesus, Judas, um, didn't really um, sink in well because that's the nature, that's the thing. But when you talk about Judas, remember, Judas wasn't one of the scribes. He wasn't one of the Pharisees. He wasn't one of the crowd. He was among those the Bible says. And he went up to the mountain and prayed and called those whom he wooed. And he ordained them that they may be with him. That's the scriptures. So majority of the time we look for Judas out there. We've not taken our time to look at Judas on the pulpit. So come this evening with us. Let's look at Judas at the position where he was at the beginning and all. So there's no way, yes, we are going still going to look at Judas on the poop in the pew and out there. But this evening we're going to look at Judas on the pulpit. Judas as called. The called Judases, <clears throat> those who were among um, the disciples ordained, they were member, they were a member of that church. Another thing we're going to see is that which is out there, people talk about Judas in the church. Out of 12, one was Judas, okay, was a devil, as the Bible says. Um, have I not chosen you, but one of you is a is devil. It means in a church of 24 members, two are devils. 36 member church, three 48 um four so if you now multiply it irrespective of how holy you think your congregation is please make no mistake you can't pastor a church that is more than the one jesus pastored just 12 people and one was a devil so don't make any mistake saying oh you in this church who are judas is no is expected <laughs> is a natural occurrence it has to be and it must be the only thing we ask is that God will bring us to the point where our, the Bible said of our Lord Jesus in John chapter 2 verse 24 and 25 for he knew all men that will get the spirit of discernment to know not to commit certain things in the hands of some people so this evening we are going to look at um uh, Judas as a cold person, Judas on the pulpit, and then Judas on the pew. And then we will also look at um, Judas, who, but then we carry on to one second place. Let me get back to our notes. Then we are going to look at again Judas as he was called as um, we will be remembered by what we have done so some of us take things for granted and do things anyhow the song of um, Horatius say first we would pass from the earth and is toiling only remembered by what we have done fed in our way like the stars of the morning we will fade when Judas was playing those tricks little did he know it will remain for everlasting Judas who betrayed him be careful what you do yeah you might keep going back and forth oh forgive me at a point those things will stick 
and no bleach will remove it. Even though you are born again, remember when we looked at Matthew, although born again, it's still Matthew the tax collector. Mm -hmm. There are things we do that remain with us. Be very careful. So when you are carried away, when you feel you can do anything, that one little you will do might be very bad. We also look at he meddled with avarice. He meddled with it. He meddled. Yeah, we say come in the way you are, but we say, yes, come the way you are, but don't remain the way you were. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There's power in his name. There's power in his presence that transforms and changes a man. Amen. That cleans a man, cleanses a man from um, the miry clay and put on a robe. Rule your robe on you. Change your clothing. Put on a ring on you. That's a new thing that happens. So you can't be in church and you remain. So we're going to see how he remained in the old. Very little, little things and big, big things he was doing. His attitude. Hey, Peter came with an attitude. John came with an attitude. Them, um, Nathan and um, Philip came with one. They all came with something, uh, but it was dealt with because the Bible says that the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than two edged swords. It goes, takes away the dross, takes away the stony heart, and replaces it with an heart of flesh. But Judas remained, and there's so many people at church today. We're going to look at that some of the things he did even when he complained that mary broke the box the alabaster box that when he complained oh that's hide him and complained they didn't know they weren't with the right person out there he shouldn't have even been there so that's why we're quite very careful who you associate with and some comments made in the church you contribute to you don't know the motive of the person who said it and where they are going and in the innocency of your heart you thought the person is genuine and you get involved hey be careful we're going to look at that we're also going to look at his corrupting influence and then we now come down to look at the betrayal why did he betray his master you know, sometimes we look at the result of things or the outcome of things, but we don't look at the root cause, what led to it. Yeah, we can watch Volcano and then it says, oh, the lava and everything. But it didn't just happen in a day. It's been up there months, even up to more than a year, um, revving revving heating up heating up the one that happened in tonga last year we, we all saw an early what it was there an early this year it was erupting they could see the smoke going up going up and they thought oh it's still one of those but it shook the world what happened in tonga it didn't start one day it's been there all this while so we are going to now look at another area this evening and what are we going to look at the interesting thing in the book of john come with me to the book of john chapter 13 because this place we, are, <coughs> we usually miss it and is um very very important and i'm like wow lord we usually miss this area but we shouldn't is a very big integral part of what we're doing now in the book of um john chapter 13 at the last supper when jesus said to um, them in verse 26 and he answered he it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dropped dipped it and then 
in verse 27 he said to um, Judas that thou doest do quickly 28 now no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this unto him for some of them thought because Judas had the bag that Jesus had said unto him by these things that we have need of against the feast we still look at that this evening or oh, if we don't finish we finish next week friday he had the pause apostle reminded me this morning and says judas was the only one among the 12 that had a pronounced office the treasurer of the team he had the purse yes it was said of peter upon this rock i build my look after the church but why that he was the one that had a specific office treasurer he had the bag so that's why i said we're going to look at judas in the leadership and judas on the pulpit and what it looks there you know, we talk about Judas of the pew. Imagine when the pastor of a church, the overseer of a church, the leaders of the church are Judas themselves. Oh dear, I wonder what, what that church will look like. Can you imagine? Now let's carry on. Therefore, in verse 31, when he had gone out, when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now is the son of of man glorified and God is glorified from John chapter 13 verse 31 Jesus started talking started talking John chapter 14 deep things I am the way the truth and the life no man coming to the father but by me oh i'm going to prepare a place let not your heart be troubled where i am there shall you be in my father's house and many mansions as soon as he left jesus opened his mouth to mysteries he missed it so it's not only about betraying him and brethren this is what we catch on those who you know we justice who betray and he betrayed there are certain things we're living out in these messages that we ought not to look at how powerful john chapter 14 15 and 16 is there that jesus expounded his being the father and the son and the holy spirit amen it was there that the promise came to be with us Hallelujah. And in, verse, in chapter 17, he prayed for them and 18. Reminding us in, of Isaiah chapter 5, the year Uzziah died. Ooh, it was when he died. The covering cast went. It was then that Isaiah saw himself for real who he was. And also when abraham was told leave thy country go to the land out he took lot with him as soon as lot was separated from him it was then the lord said to him walk before me and be thou perfect the promise that hung up in the air for 25 24 solid good years Came to pass in the 25th week he took lot with him so while lot was with him there are blessings that can come so brethren while he was with jesus and the rest he saw the miracles and the bible says he revealed his arts to what to the um to the children of israel but himself his words his secret straight to Moses so once he left the secret came open wow the Lord says look for those who want to carry on and play and the church have not preached this enough so that people can know it's not all about 
Judas. If you're still in the flesh, you play Judas. If the second work of grace had not happened in your life, your heart not sanctified, you play Judas. If you've backslidden, you play Judas. If you're 50 50 Christian, best of both, you will play Judas. So there's no need. There's something. So while he was with them, he was there was a little bit of instability from all his complaint and what he was doing because he he wouldn't allow them to settle because one person was an Achan. So there was confusion. They couldn't understand Jesus. They keep coming back. Oh, he explained this parable to us. They came to win this. But when he left, Jesus settled. And the secret that shouldn't be made known to Satan those this, who are called the saints have the privilege so at church those of us who are pastors you know there are certain things you don't say in front of some brethren because it, some brethren because it's not necessary they are still spiritually immature to handle it they will misinterpret it it will mean nothing to them they're going to misconstrue it and moreover it's not for them not at all there are things you steal. You know, looking at this church of 12 members, we've learned a lot. Jesus has got the call. The three call. Anywhere he's going, you keep the other nine and go with these three. John, one of them, who settled at his bosom. Peter, one of them, who was so bold. And James, the brother of John. And sometimes we take Andrew, making it the fourth person and the rest. And our question is, why the core group? What made them, what, qualif what qualified them to be there? Lord, get me there. If it takes consecration, commitment, loving the Lord with all our heart, all our mind, and then it's about our pursuit and what we're in for, for he knows all. And those who have come with a sound mind and unto him. So we're going to pray now. We didn't want to rush. We just want to introduce. And under these headings, we are going to look at Judas. The rest, we know them. We've read, we've read books on them. We've had preachings on them. Everybody knows. But these things that we are not often mentioned. I was wondering. I kept on. I said, I said to my boss, like my husband, I don't know if it is just me. Please, have you seen it this way that when he left in John chapter 13, the actual revelation came to the real people. So stay on, brother. Stay on, sister. Don't go. Don't betray the master. There is a huge blessing in there. Those that believe it do not make haste. Maybe he thought, mm, look at all the way, the, all the way everyone has been talking to him. He doesn't have this. He doesn't. Oh, I better steal from that bag and go away. He was carnal. He was fleshly. He didn't see the big picture. He wasn't transformed. Father, we pray this morning and we ask for your grace to help us to understand and to take on these key salient things which are not so much of um, mentioned on our pulpits help us Lord to grab it plus the ones we've already known so that we'll be better and serve you better thank you Father for you've had an answer to our prayers in Yeshua Jesus name we pray Amen and Amen so much for being with us on this program and watching and we believe you learned something and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook Monday all the way to Sunday every day about 10.30 a.m. UK time and that's the same at Nigerian time and you, it's either Apostle George Monday to Friday uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace uh, Friday to Sunday and then in the evening of Sunday we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6 after 6 another one up to 7 so please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it we also visit our website 
www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks. This course you just listened to, all these lessons, you know, there's an ebook we have free of charge. Everything we do is free. But more importantly, you can actually do your program on, you know, ebooks. You can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want you can also if you want to do the yes course or be do the master class you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it you can also subscribe to our channels this youtube gsom.tv and we also have a telegram channel gsom media you can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com we love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.